It's beginning to look a lot like Vlogmas. Love that. Good morning, guys. I just woke up and doing my little tidy up routine that I do in the morning. So I gotta take out the recycling, the trash, I'm gonna put away the dishes, I'm gonna uh, vacuum a little bit, I'm gonna put all the clutter away, stuff like that. It looked like an absolute bum. Just literally popped out of bed. But, um,. Chopping up those coffee beans, coffee beans, coffee beans. <laughs> this is just like you're not as passionate. You don't have a coffee beans either. You made that up that you day. Have it's one. not like you do that every morning. You, you have made a that up that day. Hey, you're not special. You don't do little dances every morning. You not do it every one time morning, baby. And you, you know and I dance in the morning. Ever since shit. college, you know I dance. She in thinks morning. she's the hot shit that she no, does. No, remember? Like, I sing every morning. So do I. Pretty much. I sing every I morning. know, but you don't sing coffee dance. Right. I. You don't sing about Noah. I sing about Noah. I and, know. And you chime in and sing about Noah. So I'm trying right. to get you coffee. You don't claim the coffee dance. Oh, you're copying me. Okay, I like that. I'm inspired. I, I'm doing you. my own. I'm inspired. I'm doing my own. I'm, I'm being Aww. original. I'm, I'm being creative. Oh, you're copying your composer. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this is too video to Well, fine. I won't do the dance. No, do the dance. Right. I was. I was starting to do, do it. I really. I love the slide motion. That's a very nice addition. Well, you f***ed up that piece. A very nice addition. It's beginning to look a lot like coffee time, coffee time. Self love, bring me back to rudiments. We're not ignorant. Let's be small and become small talk to each other. I love you, I do. I love you, I do. Killing us too. I know, I do. I know. Anything for you. Okay. Oh, good. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> That's a good Sit. Easy. One more time. Sit. Nope. Oh, he like it. Leave it. Oh, good, good boy. boy. You're not that great at that, no. but we love you. But now you only call on Jesus when it rains. And you pop when you're feeling good. Popping bottles when it's really great I wish I could stay Really, really I wish I could Trying to resist my yeah. irritation Turn it slowly as you spoke Hella soggy, I ain't eating that Goose would probably like it I'm gonna give it to Goose And the coffee is done Look at that Catch me outside How about that? Here we go
I always pour a little less in one cup because Julia likes cream. I usually don't have cream, but if I do have a cream, I'll just have like a little splash. Julia has like an eighth of cream and seven eighths of coffee. My calculations are correct. My cream is the macadamia milk. And Julia likes the um, uh, real stuff or pumpkin. Hey, Juju Bean, hmm. do you want, um, you yeah. I love that. You never call me Juju Bean. Okay, anyways, do you want, do you want milk? What do you want? What kind of creamer? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change it up today. I'm do a little. <laughs> and guess what? Babe, you should try this, a little splash. I don't like it. Okay, well, I do, so. You like me, so you like that. Ew, that's sick. If you have to smell milk, it's not good. Oh, I don't want to touch it. No, I'm, I really can't tell. Please, hush it. Hey, it that, smells those weird, hash right? browns, those hash browns are me. It smell weird. Ugh. I, I don't, I'm not a, big, not a big milk guy. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> this is like, you know, you have that place in your life where you just don't. Like, it's like that room that you just can't. For some people, it's like a guest room. For some people, it's, I don't know, their closet. For us, it's the laundry room. We just, like, everything goes out the window for the laundry room. I don't know why, but, um, anyways, so if you're new to this channel, we like to do a little segment here called Laundry Tips whenever I'm in the laundry room, which is been rare lately considering how many clothes are in here so I'm doing the laundry today is my goal is to get all this stuff off of the floor and a couple of cycles through so my tips um I'm just take I'm actually switching over from the wash to the dryer right now and my number one tip is to hang dry basically everything my mom definitely taught me that um and it's just a way to save so many of your clothes because especially if they're like a little bit more affordable find those clothes the fabrics don't um hold up as well so for one you don't want to wash your clothes very much if you don't have to so it just destroys them faster so the minimal washing the the better unless you're like sweating or you know it's like underwear or socks or like stuff like that but least amount possible i find is the best unless it's like stains and you know, it's like really truly dirty. Um, so I pretty much pull out like everything, what I put in the dryer, towels, underwear, socks, um, anything that I already know from experience isn't gonna shrink in the dryer, but all of my athletic wear, I pull out all of Hunter's t-shirts cause those shrink really easily. And he has so many t-shirts, so I pull all of those out. Like this bodysuit, for instance, I don't want that to shrink up, so. I am gonna pull that out and I put this little rack over here and I just hang dry as much as I can. I can even walk in here, jeez. I don't really have any hangers left. I need to get some hangers. Okay, it looks like I need to get some hangers, but I'm gonna hang dry all of this. I like to do it for um, hoodies too, and you can just literally like drape it all over the couch like we used to do that before we had a rack. So next, I'm gonna put the next load in. We're gonna do darks. So I always separate my clothes from light to dark um, just because it'll help the colors turn out better um, because a lot of times you don't know when jeans will bleed or things will bleed so I think that's like unknown everyone separates but I don't know I met Hunter in college and he literally put everything in one load together I was like whoa 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 whoa, whoa. we gotta fix that so going in with the darks okay. that is full and the laundry detergent I use, my main laundry detergent is the OxyClean. I love this. It's not too strong of a scent, but it smells really fresh. Like it's strong, like you can smell on your clothes, but it's not like tacky because you don't want like overly pungent laundry detergent. I mean, you do want it to smell good, but you don't want it to be like a bad smell. 
And then I showed this in my Amazon Amazon favorites video that Hunter and I recently did. And it's this really awesome laundry detergent. I won't even explain it here. You guys just go watch that video. But I got this um, for Christmas actually one year. And it's basically like smells like a, um, a, like a candle. It smells really good. So I always do a little splash of that as a supplemental scent. And that um, just makes everything smell really amazing. It's from a company here in Texas. They sell it on Amazon. So if you want more info, go check that out. And then I'm going to do just my normal cycle on that and start the dryer. Have to, you don't have to get too excited. There's going to be no barking and no whining. No, none of that. None of that. No, we're going to have a good time. And it's going to be fun and it's going to be noise free. It's time for our walk <laughs> Let's, Let's do go. it. Should we bring the leash or? Uh, yeah, you know where it is. Um, got it. So this is the Nordstrom leash that we were talking about earlier in Vlogmas. How cute is it? it comes with like a little. Ah, ah, don't come in here with your paws. I just vacuumed. No, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. We're going, we're going, we're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, uh, uh, off the gravel. Well, not wait, but ugh, I do not like that dog. <laughs> this dog just barks and barks and barks and barks. He does need, he needs some attention. Oh, it's gonna be so windy. We're not gonna be able to vlog. Zip. Where I'm never buying you know what another toy because he just pulls the stuffing out and leaves it everywhere. Oh, drives me crazy. So I actually need to vacuum this room. This rug, you guys, is the bane of my existence. So you know I spilled the stain on it the other day, and the dog tracks so much like dirt. Do you see all these from outside? So I have to vacuum it literally daily, and obviously this has made it so much easier. But I need to do a little tidy up. Okay. Also, you guys, my IKEA shelves. Uh, I was literally just opening the door yesterday and it completely snapped off on the hinges Which has never happened to me on any Ikea furniture, but you know I know you get what you pay for and actually like love this piece so much I don't even know like a more expensive version of it that I could get but Hunter was you know, like of course you he doesn't like Ikea furniture, but it just snapped off so I have to get that fixed but I can't use my bar stool for right now at my desk. I just like have to stand all day, which is fine. I've just been switching off from standing and sitting at the desk every few hours just because sometimes it hurts my back. So that's not an option anymore because we're using the bar stool for other purposes. So to enter today's giveaway, everybody it is our lunch break <clears throat> mid-afternoon did we vlog this morning yeah oh yeah remember our walk yeah um we Real? heated up the white chicken chili from the other day which is still our... like super good so that's what's cool about soups actually is like i know they... you can kind of keep heating them up and they're always really good totally and we also heated up the mac and, mac and cheese from last night's dinner so we're having soup and mac and cheese just a little bite and um I have a few more calls after this and then off to editing the vlog, but really like we need to start like getting 
some I, stuff together because you got a pack. I got a stuff. pack, and I have a tan coming at 4:30. I had ordered somebody to come to my house, like a mobile system. I also, after my work calls are over, my final call okay. ends at like four o'clock, which is nice on a Friday. Like after my final calls at four, I can like be done with my job job. Mm -hmm. um, and I have a call with a builder to talk about the other property. Oh, that's exciting. I think we already to we told y'all that we've already chosen our architect. And so I'm interviewing builders still. And I've spoken with a few of the builders. Like that's the harder one. I've spoken with a few builders that the architect recommended. And I, I like them, but I also want to like explore a couple options that mm -hmm. I found on my own. However, it's like I want to put the perfect team together that like Works well a again. builder that I really like and a and an architect that I really like. And we already like our architect a lot. Like we mm -hmm. we met with a lot of architects. And we found the one we really like. She's really cool. But um, I just want to make sure that, like, more than anything, not only do we like them, but do they work to well together? Mm -hmm. Do they mesh? Mm -hmm. And so it might be good to just go with someone that she recommends because she already meshes with them, and that's why she's recommending them. However, at the same time, if we choose the right person that isn't on her recommendation list, if it's the right person, it means they're the right person because we know they'll mesh well. Mm -hmm. That and, like, you know... We can like just put our team together because you know what I feel like it's gonna be a lot of managing on your end, but you're actually really good at that Yeah, you're good at managing a lot of people and like You're good like communicator. So you I feel like that's your forte The nice thing about choosing a builder like I would love to be like the builder of this project because mm -hmm. as the builder You are you're putting like, your like you are truly like the project manager, manager. Mm-hmm and getting like the right people out, mm -hmm. the right timing of when each person comes. And honestly, I would rather, just for my own sanity and ease of this first time of doing a project of this size, Yeah, I want to hire a builder since they already have all of their, their network and Rolodex of vendors and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. companies that they use. Like what the advantage that the builder has is that they've been through right. they multiple have, they have a guys, team. multiple framing guys, multiple, yeah. Yeah, they already have like their team established. Mm -hmm. And so that's the only thing I'm coming up against. Like I, I, yeah, I say I, we, we bought this property three years ago with the plan of like, I wanted to do everything. Like I wanted to be like the builder and GC and do it all. Like I'm, I really like that kind of like type of stuff. And I'm really excited for it. And obviously want to like show a lot of it and video a lot of it. But I just, I'm not sure if it like makes sense. Now we have like much busier life three years later. And totally. I'm, ready to get this, I'm ready to get this project going. And, and like, just like for how big the project is, I don't know if having not enough experience. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not like simple cosmetic changes. You know, that you could do. I know. But. I don't think we've even told you. I mean, maybe a little bit. But it's definitely like a renovation project, but not. It's also like a new build. It's like well, 70, we're adding on. It's like seventy percent add on mm -hmm. and thirty percent renovation of, of the current house. Totally. So it's gonna be a really big project. Yep. But and, fun. And it's not just the house, like it's the property. It was something that I almost was naive of when we bought the land was like how much work goes into just maintaining a property that size like mm -hmm. i think within the first year we bought it we spent like five to ten grand just on like tree trees that had fallen down that year alone and it happens like year after year yeah so, like having land like that is serious like i i mean we knew but not really it was like the first time i didn't know trees fall that often i didn't either you know, like limbs break like the whole when a storm comes you walk to that you go over to that property and you walk it and there's just like huge like 50 to 100 pound limbs that have fallen. Lim limbs alone that have fallen off the trees. Plus mm -hmm. the trees that are like thousands of pounds. And so you gotta get tractors back there, chainsaw work. It's just, it's a lot. I really like being outside and doing that type of stuff. It's more than anything like the amount of work and the time that goes into it. Totally. I, they were the best. Yeah. That was the best guy that did the, br the brush pile. Like yeah. he like was... I feel like easy to communicate with. He followed through. Yeah. He just I mean, it's, did it. It's expensive, but mm -hmm. everything costs money these days. It does. I'm going to have to start giving blowies for... <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Uh, it's later in the afternoon, about 4.30. Hunter is on a work call and my spray tan is about to start. So I ordered a mobile like spray tan service. Um, it is called, it's the first time I'm ever using them, called Glow Girls Mobile Tanning. And they're kind of in the North Dallas area. So like Frisco, um, Plano, Aubrey, Little Elm, like all of those places in case you guys live in the area. Um, they'll just like come to your house, which is amazing. So I just wanted to do that because I, I just like, sometimes it's nice just to like be sprayed and not have to like, yeah. what? Okay, not have to put it on yourself or anything. So she's here. I'm gonna go set up. Yeah, can you hear me okay? Okay, Marsha just got here from Glow Girls and Teresa is her partner and she's just setting up her tent, which is so convenient. And we're gonna do a super dark color. I told her I wanted to look really dark, so it's gonna be good. Okay, I'm super dark. It looks, oh my God, it looks so good though, but it looks real. Yeah, it looks it amazing. Looks really you did a great job. Oh, she did like three coats basically on me. This is the um, cosmetic bronzer, so it'll wash off in the shower. I'm gonna go show Hunter. <laughs> Let's see. Look, hun. Oh, wow. Looks, Looks good, amazing. right? Yeah. I love it. Good color. I know. Like, looks real. I mean, obviously, this will rinse off. Can I get you the, the uh, my skin complexion? Yeah, totally. Like, it's like a little more red. red. Uh huh. Yeah. That's what we did. Good eye. Um, I told her we might need to get tans for Hawaii. So she said she tans couples all the time. Okay, guys. So the tan is complete. I'm so so satisfied um and it doesn't necessarily have to be this dark i asked for it really dark so she was like this is darker than i would do it on like anybody but i if you are experienced and you guys know i self-tan all the time i was like yeah i want it dark so i love it and this is up to my level of satisfaction um so anyways I would definitely hit them up if you guys are in the North Texas area. They will like drive to your house so easy. Like it was two women and um, Marsha was the one that came. She was so sweet. We just like chatted. She like was just really cool. So um, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. Highly recommend them. And I will put their Instagram in the description box down below. So thank you for coming to tan me. Um, I need to get to packing um, and I need to get my suitcase and start loading all my stuff in because I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm so sad actually. Like I'm like really, really excited, but I'm sad. Like I always get sad leaving and then once like I'm on the airplane, I'm like excited, but it's just always like getting to there. Hunter's is from Talentless. Mine yeah, is, Talentless. mine's, um, Walmart because I don't want to ruin anything with my tan. So I just put on. You got some Talentless stuff too. Yeah. I got really good Talentless stuff. This is one of their talentless tees too. I wanted to try it to smell. How is it so far? You so think? Good. Yeah, so it's long. cute. It's like super long. Him. You wear mediums in talentless? Uh, yeah. Looks really good. Medium. I could probably. I love. Okay, we're at Chipotle. It's Friday. I'm feeling good. I had a really busy week. It was kind of stressful. I think you could tell maybe in like the past couple of vlogs I was just like out of it and my back's been hurting. Whatever. Anyways, we we're at Chipotle. We're excited. Julia's sadly leaving tomorrow, so we're gonna make the best of it tonight. We're gonna go into Chipotle and show you exactly what we get because y'all ask all the time, y'all DM us, ask what our Chipotle order is. We're doing a Chipotle tutorial. This video should be a dedicated sponsorship <laughs> by Chipotle because we're gonna walk you through our steps one by one. Mm -hmm. um, I was just about to say, maybe you should grab some meals at Snap Kitchen after since I'm leaving. And I think you're that's not a lovely idea. Anything. I would not eat, I would starve. <laughs> you would, huh? So, see you inside. All right, we're doing it. Chipotle. So what we like about coming to this Chipotle is there's the Chipotle and then there's the snap kitchen like right there and then there's the chop shop You got Chipotle and you got snap kitchen, which are a great three spots Just doing a little story Chipotle number two two Served of you from the start, but I have waited. Oh, white rice. Yep. Pinto beans and chicken. White rice. Pinto beans. Chicken. Yes, sir. We're moving into phase two. Okay. Hot salsa, sour cream, and cheese. And a side 
can't walk in line, please. Okay, guys, here we go. So here's the bowl in its normal state. So you need to put the lid on. The lid is key. You have to mix it. Okay, once the lid is on, I'm gonna shake it up. By the way, I can't take any credit for this order. This is all Hunter Haven, Hunter Hoo Hoo Haven. He came up with this like in college. So. It's not that special. I, I mean, it's it, special. It, it, it's very, very good. But like, it's really good. I'm sure some of y'all maybe ordered this. Probably, but I don't think it's anything that's it's just like, fun. exotic. It's just almost as if you're creating like a dip. A dip. Okay. You like can even go dip. even heavier on like the salsa if you want. The sour cream cuts the spice a little bit, so it makes it like a little it bit does. Creamy, creamy it's a spice. great balance. Good balance. It's very good. Okay, they get chips, and I rip the bag so you don't have to like be reaching your hand down the bag the whole time. Okay, so that's key. I think I told you that as well. Did you? I think so. Oh, okay. Pretty sure. And <laughs> then you take the chip. You dip a little guacamole. First, you take the mallo. It's blown out. You put the mallo. <laughs> All right. All right. You take the chip, dip it in the guac, okay? And then you dip it in the bowl. How glorious is that? It's heaven on earth. Right? That's what I said last time. I said it's like then, dying and going to heaven. It hurts. And you just go to town. You just go to town. Y'all, there's nothing better. I mean, maybe y'all have a better Chipotle order. And if you do, if you think your Chipotle order can beat us, let us know and I'll try during Vlogmas. Oh, this is like extra credit if you want it. Yeah, totally. Add a little couple droplets, good. mix it in, maybe, maybe not. We're kind of just like on top and it, it kind of gives a little zing. Pretty good. Mm. Alright, as a host Chipotle dessert, we stopped out at the gas station on the way home because we had to get gas. And we got some OG goodies. What are they called? Sour Punch? Yeah, Sour Punch. Sour Punch straws. I haven't had these since like high school. I always remember going to like a sports game, like a high school basketball game. Like, you know how they have little concession stands at like sporting events in high school? I would get those. Yeah. Good. But they are super sweet, huh? Super they sweet. are. You only need like one. One, call it, call it good. Did you ever use it to like drink stuff? Ew, no. You did it? Oh, I did. Sick. Sick. Squints. What's up, Squints? Squints, we just got home. You're in Squinty. Squints was sleepy. Sit. Hey, Squints. Hey, Squints Polydorus. Where's Wendy Peppercorn? Where's Wendy Peppercorn? I feel like I've been like just, I'm heads okay. down a lot. I know, you are. It sucks. That's why my back hurts, I think. I'm heads down. <laughs> my head's truly down like looking at a computer all day. Anyways, it's been really out of whack lately. I haven't really given it much attention. I probably need to get like a good mask on it. Vitamins? Yeah, a little biotin. Hi, baby. I love you. You are so cute. Chris mm -hmm. <laughs> is truly a family member. No, like, me. I was just thinking about like how uh, the other day. It doesn't even feel like Christmas. Honestly, like, I'm so glad we have the tree up. Like, it doesn't feel like the Christmas season. Mm -mm. Where does the time go? Good stretch, Goose. Oh, but I was like, care of? I've noticed some people's care of is only like three pills. Mine's like 12. Mine's five. God, can you... Big gulp. Look at this. This is like incredible. Oh, I'm so full. I just pull it. This is incredible. Pretty good, yeah? See that? That's freaking crazy, right? Killer 10, bruh. I just look out of whack. What's going on with me lately? <laughs> Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. No. Red bell pepper, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, red bell pepper, green bell pepper. It's not that hard, y'all. It's so funny. I'm your cousin, your mom, and, and someone goes, that woman should win. I'm like, it's my mother-in-law. <laughs> okay, let's film our q and I don't know how I feel about the hair lately. It might come off. It might be close to that timing. Just can't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs>